Happy Sunday, everyone. I'm sorry I have not uploaded um, an episode of The Remarried Empress last week, so we're doing catch-up. So, hey, you guys get to watch me read to you guys two episodes. So, I'll be reading episode 149 to 150. I've been feeling so sick, but it was a holiday last week, so I was super busy and exhausted and had to cook. So, yeah. Further ado, due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else my channel will be taken down. For anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all these uploaded on my private channel, which is on patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Here, there's no cat logo blurs and there's, you know, no censorship as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, I was like, I thought I was going to throw up for a second. Warning, this episode contains depictions of violence that may be upsetting for some readers. Hmm, for a remarried empress, that's kind of scary. The Borderlands of the Western Empire. Is that the town where the troops that fought the Spring Water Bandits are staying? Excuse me, do you happen to know where Lord Coser is? Yes, I saw him go that way earlier. Thank you. Huh. Where did he go? Thank you. Please come again. A boutique? Huh? Who have thought that he would shop out of such a place? Only when he's buying gifts for Navier. I'll go take a look inside. Stop. Stop. Wham. Oh. Whoa. Lord Corsair? Uh. Huh? That voice. What's Navier's lady in waiting doing here? <sighs> um, hello, I didn't expect to run into you here. Yes! <laughs> what? F uh, Kling, you're skilled, as they say. I wanted to spar with you for a while. Uh, <laughs> it's not fitting for me to spar with my sister's lady in waiting. I don't think she'll back down easily. <laughs> However, if you promise not to tell her about what you saw, I agree to a duel. Cling. Deal. <sighs> oh my goodness, she's fast. I had her pegged as a naive young lady who spars for fun, but I was wrong. Uh, she knows what she's doing. I could risk injuring her if I don't hold back. Perhaps I should knock her out. Or I could find the right moment to bow out. Uh, huh? Lord Cossair! Oh, Lord Cossair! Oh my gosh, she is strong! The Remarried Empress, episode 149. Meanwhile, in the Palace of the Western Empire... Here's the report from our spy in the Eastern Empire. It is about the declining numbers of mages? Yes, the spy confirmed our suspicions that extracting mana from the experienced mage carries a high risk. Not only did the extraction fail, in some cases, their mana actually increased. That's unfortunate. Does that mean that the best time to extract it would be either be right after their powers manifest or before their powers develop fully? We don't have the full picture, so let's see. Just wait and see. On an unrelated note, it appears Emperor Sovetiu has a new mistress. <laughs> really? So soon after going through all that trouble to get rid of Navier, who's a new woman? Well... The spy says it's Evely. What? But she's so young! Wait, this could be a problem. If they connect Evely's trouble with the declining number of mages, they may very well deduce the truth. If Navier finds out about that, dun -dun, she's not going to let it slide. Perhaps we could concentrate on building a strong foundation for the, our empire and leave the glory to your successors. Uh-huh. What do you mean? 
I know this is a lifelong dream of yours, but I'd rather not see you stressed out about it every day. Huh? Oh, I have an update about the troop that fought the bandits. I've been told that all the towns near the borders are in a festive mood thanks to them. Wow, that's great. That's why I wanted to suggest... I'm thinking of making your brother the first Golden Knight. You are? A Golden Knight? Henry created that title to give to those who are particularly courageous and loyal. Though it is but an honorary title, it's only awarded to two individuals per year. It'd be an honor for my brother to become the first Golden Knight in history, but wouldn't some people disapprove? Lord Corsair is greeted with grand feast wherever his troop goes. Anyone who objects is bound to raise eyebrows, so don't worry. That's good to hear. Grand Duke Kaufman sent this liquor as an apology gift. Let's drink this and celebrate. Hmm? He said it's so rare and valuable that it's usually out of reach for anyone except the royalty here, there. How pretty. It reminds me of the desert. Mm, it's sweet and smooth. <laughs> they're, just, they're so cuddly. <laughs> uh, huh? I fell asleep. How many glasses did I drink? What's this? Huh? <gasps> what happened? H Henry? Meanwhile, in the Eastern Empire. I know His Majesty told me he'd look into him to it himself, but it's already been days and I haven't heard anything from him. I'll just have to take matters into my own hands. So, there she is. Erione. Huh? You again. You just don't quit, I told you. I don't know anything about your sister. I know, but I'm at my wit's end. If you could give me anything at all, no matter how trivial it is. People aren't always what they seem. What? Be suspicious of the person you trust the most. That's all I can tell you. The person I trust the most? I did what you asked me to do, Your Majesty. Well done. Keep this up, and you'll be spar spared from punishment. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Next chapter here. A few days after Rasha stopped Duke Ergi from leaving, everyone in the capital was talking about the maid who had been sentenced to death for attacking the Empress. Can you believe that maid threw a chair at the very woman who's carrying the Emperor's heir? And she did this after the Empress had hired her when no one else would, be, would because of a father's a criminal. Talk about ungrateful. She deserved the death sentence. I wouldn't lay all the blame on the maid. Look at this. Even when she was just a mistress, Empress Rashida had a history of punishing and dismissing her maids for various reasons, including for giving her abortion drugs, for deceiving her, and for violent behavior. This is a stark contrast to Empress Navier, who only had two people quit. One left after getting married, and the other returned after giving birth. Why do these issues only arise with Empress Rashida? People are starting to get onto her. It's not gonna, this is not a good look. It's illogical to blame it on the fact that, that she spent many of her years as a commoner because maids are also commoners. If her origins were the issue, then it would make more sense for her to be in conflict with her ladies-in-waiting. The raises, this raises concerns about Empress Rush's character. Oh, she read that? Oh, this is not going to be good. She's... 
as we know, anyone who crosses her, anyone who is just not useful to Rashta, she will get rid of them. So now that this person who is a journalist, the brother of the maid that got her tongue cut, yeah, um, now that he's writing all these articles and like not in favor of Rashta, she's gonna send a hitman after him now like i'm very sure and i and i don't know if Sovashi will try to protect this guy or not or she he will allow rashta to get rid of this journalist uh, do you think this journalist wrote this awful article because he blames me for his sister's disappearance who's who's to say i'm scared that people are going to get the wrong idea of me Please stop him from writing more articles like this, your majesty. We'll be making a mountain out of a molehill. Just let it be. Your majesty? This article is just pushing a narrative without any concrete proof. These kinds of rumors will die on their own as long as nothing like that happens again. Don't pay any mind to it. He has a point. But I still have my doubts. I should ask the Duke. <laughs> she is so dependent on the Duke. She is. She doesn't realize that's her downfall. Your Majesty, are you really going to let this ad un go unaddressed? Her Majesty's reputation is at risk. It's fine. Our main concern should be the baby's well being. Not trivial matters like this. Oh. Your Majesty. Hi. <sighs> My belly has gotten so big. Dude, it feels like she's been pregnant forever. Darling child, you must be getting ready to be born. This baby has to be a son in order to inherit the throne. Your Majesty. Um, a gentleman asked me to give you this. A gentleman? He paid me to ensure that he gets a reply right away. It was a lot of money. I'll read it right now, so wait here. Hmm. <laughs> of course you'd be preoccupied with your own is issues such as your infertility. <laughs> It seems someone overheard me. <laughs> the Pre-Married Empress, episode 150. Meanwhile, in the Western Empire. Uh, what a troublesome trunk he is. He always liked this whenever he turns into a bird and drinks. Oh, just let him sleep it off and he'll wake up eventually. McKenna said it wasn't a big deal, but I was shocked when I discovered him like this. Oh, it's so cute. I can't let this happen. What should I do, Henry? There are too many things that you are hiding. So I'll be in over my head if I fall for you. You're so harsh. Uh, Henry? Uh -uh. Did it really bother you that much to see me drunk and passed out? What do you mean? I must have dozed off. How long was I asleep? You've been avoiding me since then. That's not true. We dine together and we see each other in the evening. Ugh. But you're only free in the evening. Every time I come to see you during the day, you claim you're busy. Uh, well, I really was busy. I know. That makes it even worse. You've been keeping busy by completing tasks ahead of schedule. That feels like you're avoiding me. Uh, I kept my distance because I didn't want to cross any lines. I, I didn't consider that this might hurt his feelings. Should I have been more direct about how I feel? But how do I do that? Do I tell him I think I love you, but... I don't want to fall too deeply in love with you. The... 
You are truly beautiful, Henry. My queen, Navier. My queen, are you only interested in my body? Oh, oh, what? Only interested in his body? If that were the case, I wouldn't have spent so much time agonizing over this. He has touched me many, many times. Does he think that I was showing affection while I'm doing it for perverted reasons? Your Majesty, Grand Duke Kaufman is here to see you. He says there's a problem with the merchant group. A uh, merchant group? Is this about the trade between the continents? That's truly unfortunate timing. He's coming to see me when I'm thinking such thoughts. But I can't just not see him when it's a trade issue. Send him in. Oh. Oh. Why is... Why are he in such a hurry? Your Majesty, one of the merchant groups that was trying to set sail has, as a trial run, was captured at the port. Well, okay, first of all, let's address the two episodes that we read. So the last one, we kind of jumped back and forth from the Western to, and to, of course, we... We, we did see Navier's brother, Lord Cosair, having a little spar <laughs> with, of course, um, Navier's ladies-in-waiting, which was pretty cute and funny, but he got knocked out. Uh, following with, you know, Navier and Henry having a nice drink together. But fast, fast forward to what is really important here, Rashta. The journalist is picking a bone with Rashta, and it is a scary thing to do like Rasha's not gonna let that go like eventually she's gonna crack and she's gonna send someone to literally get rid of this journalist because she doesn't like people spreading you know the truth that's ugly about her you know but as we can tell Sovetsu just want that baby out. He just wants that baby and I know he's gonna get rid of Rasha so quick because she is nothing but trouble. She doesn't help maintain the status of an elite, you know, empress, you know. Uh, he, She just keep on like tearing down the empire. Like she's just a bad egg and to keep her as an empress title is very embarrassing, you know. So I don't know what's gonna happen next because at this rate, Rasha's not going to survive because she's going to dig herself a grave and she's going to be in it. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! Whew.